Hey, good afternoon, guys. How's it going today? Sorry, a uh, long time no review. It's uh, summer right now in Vancouver, and I've got a two year review on my Rogue Territory SK jeans and their proprietary 15 ounce denim. Uh, big apologies. I wanted to do a review on these jeans sort of every three to four months or even six months to show you guys more of a gradual fade on how these went from uh, totally raw denim up to what they are right now and that just didn't happen which is a shame because I specifically got 100% uh, a pretty skinny jean and 100% cotton specifically just to see how well I could fade a pair of jeans and um, yeah these been fading really nice so I'll show you guys all the details and uh, let's go. So here's a bit of a close-up on the highest contrast part, which is right around the pocket. Uh, it's pretty incredible. I think that um, I'm pretty lucky to not have this blowout here because the amount of wear in that groin there has been um, pretty substantial. Um, but the high contrast, this is kind of what we're talking about here, is that this is still pretty dark in here. And just the contrast on some of these tension points is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, there's a bit of branding here and I really like how this branding has worn in. Uh, it just seems to have, have softened up. I mean, this has always just been the same, but it's just softened up a bit. And uh, these buttons here and the rivets, no patina in there, which is fine. I had loved the way that these had looked initially. Um, just very simple. There's the there's the buttons right in there so no patina in there and I don't really know if they're supposed to really oxidize over time so here's a bit of look at the knee right here this right knee like all my other jeans gets the most amount of wear as I drive so my my I do a lot of driving so my leg is always just crooked a little bit and um, it's yielded some pretty good fades in this knee area another thing I liked about these jeans is the shape of the pocket uh, I was looking at the other jeans that I have and I've noticed that maybe this is the first pair of jeans I've had where this pocket kind of comes up to a little bit of a point up at this top corner and I actually think that thought that was pretty cool I mean Rogue has their sort of their uh, trademark lasso here and their trademark um, pen pocket so that kind of drew, drew my attention when I had first got these jeans but now that they faded in I started to kind of notice that that when you when you look at these back pockets they kind of come up to a point and maybe I'm a little bit ignorant and never saw that on any other jeans but I've definitely noticed it on these ones uh, this is really cool the raised belt loops on um, sort of a pair of their stock jeans but that that was one of the first places to wear out it's pretty cool Here's the patch, it's a beautiful patina, a long way to go on the patina, but on this particular one here I've used some Obanoff's uh, uh, conditioner, just the odd time, just to keep it, uh, keep it really soft, but that is so nice and broken in at this point. So here's a close up of the honeycombs on the right leg. Uh, you can see that they do have a long way to go, but it's, it's definitely coming along there. I think one of the cool things is uh, the tone of blue. Uh, so here's the other leg. Maybe the honeycombs are a little bit more obvious on this leg here But one thing I've noticed is that the, the tone of blue that this gives off is is pretty cool Actually, I think that these uh, jeans look a little bit better not in the sunlight. They have like a very vintagey type of look to them so here is the fit of these guys after a couple washes and most of the starch is out of them uh, they sucked into my body a bit I think they fit uh, really nice now. I would like a little bit more room in the thigh, but then again, I did buy these jeans because they are skinny jeans and I wanted to fade them really well. But main thing I'm happy about is that they didn't shrink too much because um, they do fit really good right now. I still do need to wear a belt with these guys. Uh, they did come in a little bit, but they didn't come in enough that I needed to, um, that I still need to yeah, so that's the review of these guys. Uh, I think that they've been fading incredibly well, uh, especially for the time that I've had them. Uh, I'm going to probably, do, well, maybe do an update within the next year. Um, in my opinion, I think these are probably about six months away or maybe about 150 wears away from being like totally perfect. 
Um, they're still just a little bit starchy because I've only washed these two times, but they're probably about six months away from being exactly like how I want um, raw dem to be. So maybe at that point, I'll just do another review, but um, I'm gonna try post a, a review of my naked and famous jeans from what I've got them faded so far and um, see if I can fade those ones and update those ones a bit more a bit more regularly so thank you for watching and like and comment if you want and I'll see you next time